Hello and welcome to JXG Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what is ground effect and its impact on aircraft and helicopters. What is ground effect? Ground effect refers to an increase in the lift force on an aircraft wing or a helicopter's rotor blades when the aircraft or helicopter is close to the ground. This ground effect plays a part during landings and takeoffs as well. So let's see what causes an increase in the lift because of the ground effect and the impact it has on aircraft and helicopters. What causes an increase in the lift because of the ground effect? The increase in lift because of the ground effect is because of a reduction in the downwash and the induced drag on the aircraft. Induced drag is created because of downwash on the wing. First, let's look at what is downwash and how it affects the induced drag. What is downwash? Downwash is the downward flow of air at the trailing edge of the wing. Downwash is created because of the wingtip vortices. Wingtip vortices refer to the circulation of air at the wingtips. Now let's compare an aircraft flying at its cruise altitude and the same aircraft flying near the ground. The wingtip vortices are bigger when the aircraft is flying at high altitudes, but the wingtip vortices become smaller when the aircraft is near the ground. This is because the ground disrupts the formation of wingtip vortices. This causes less downwash on the wing. Less downwash means less induced drag on the aircraft. How does less downwash reduce induced drag? Induced drag refers to the drag created due to lift. So depending on the tilt of the lift vector, the induced drag will change. The lift created on the wing is always perpendicular to the downwash. If the downwash is reduced, the lift vector will become more straight. This causes a reduction in the backward component of the lift vector, which is the induced drag. So when an aircraft is close to the ground, less vortices are created on the wings, so lesser downwash behind the wings, which causes an increase in the lift and a reduction in the drag. This ground effect comes into play when the aircraft is about a span length above the ground. So what is the impact of the ground effect on an aircraft? Although the concept of increase in lift sounds good, this can have an adverse impact during landing. The ground effect can cause a delay in touchdown of the main landing gear, leading to an increase in the landing distance. This is known as runway float where the aircraft is flying a few feet above the runway and did not land at the expected touchdown zone. The ground effect is more pronounced in low wing aircraft when compared to a high wing aircraft. Impact of ground effect on a helicopter Similar to an aircraft, when a helicopter is close to the ground, the vortices are reduced on the main rotor, causing an improvement in the lift Again, the downwash is reduced, which straightens the lift vector. This means that less power is required for hover when close to the ground when compared to hover at higher altitudes. So that's all for my video on the ground effect. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well. <music>